Despite the showers that we saw earlier today for some of us, we have been very dry in most of our places, especially in the Duval and the Nassau County area. And meteorologist Mark Collins took a look at the water aquifers today to see how they're holding up. Despite some of the rain showers we had across the area today, it has been very dry and the lack of rain is lowering the water table and it may cause some problems for your wells if you're using that for irrigation. So far for the whole month, just over an inch of rain that puts us down at a deficit of over five inches here in Jacksonville. This is very interesting. This shows how much water is typically evaporated out of a pan during the different months of the year. And in May, there's almost eight inches of evaporation. So here we are during the month of June, and we typically see about seven inches just being cleared away from the power of the sun. And when you look at what that's happening, having an effect on the soil, we are getting closer to drought conditions. This was last week. Let me go back to that. Last week, we didn't have any of this yellow showing up in the area and you can see across the Savannah area they were dealing with drought. The drought still persists in Georgia but notice the yellow here showing up over Jacksonville. That means abnormally dry conditions for Duval Clay and into St. John's County. So until we get into this really wet rainy pattern we're going to be seeing some deficits. In fact this is the St. John's Water District Management and they show these little pockets of blue. This is where there's been about a break even to one inch surplus in the aquifer. But all this area here in green, below average readings in the aquifer. And then when you get into uh, Duval and portions of Nassau counties, you can see the aquifer is about three, two to three inches below normal. And one other thing that people look at our well levels here in Duval County. The average line here is in black. The blue line is the current water leave, water level, which over the past uh, several months have been high. But when we take a look at Clay County, you can see that your water level peaked there in April and it has been going below average. And then in Nassau County, the water levels have been below average for several months this year. If you want to read more about the water level in the aquifer, I wrote a story on newsforjax.com.